Oh, it's out. <laughs> Here's the chocolate. Hey, what's going on everybody? How y'all doing today? So this video is gonna be quite odd. Let me explain. So, you know, I buy all these uh, Amazon returns pallets. Lately I've been buying some Target pallets. And on the Target pallets, I had two full pallets of Easter candy. Most of it's about to expire. And a ton of it is chocolate, which has already gone through the whole process of being out in the heat and melting and then you know, going back to room temperature. So pretty much all this chocolate is just ruined. I've I've opened a few and tried them, and almost every every piece of chocolate here just tastes really bad. Um, they're they're still in date, so they're not expired or anything. But the heat really really messes up chocolate. So what I'm gonna do, and I don't even know why I'm gonna do this. I I don't feel just like throwing it away. Thought let's do something strange with it or whatever. So. So yeah, as you can see, I got Snickers, M&M, Bunnies, Hershey's Bunnies, more Bunnies, entire humongous box of all hollow bunnies. This entire thing of Hershey Kisses and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Uh, most of the Kisses have turned white because they melted. And then everything that had peanut butter, Reese's Peanut Butter, the peanut butter is no longer creamy. It's like hard and disgusting. So, so what I'm going to do, and once again, I don't know why <laughs> it just came to mind to try it because there's so much chocolate. So I'm going to melt it down little by little, bunch of these little bunnies, melt it down. I'm going to make a giant Lego brick out of it. I guarantee I have enough chocolate to completely fill this to the top. And then, you know, make a brick. If I have enough, I'll do two. Slowly, this is going to fill up with chocolate. I'm going to pack it in there as good as I can get it. And then hopefully, it'll come out after it's cold. I don't know if I need to freeze this or what when it's done. And then just bang it out. Hopefully, it'll all come out of one giant ch chunk of chocolate. So, I don't know. I thought it could be a cool, interesting video. Rather than just throwing in the trash and being done with it. I'm going to be melting chocolate for a while. And I'll show you as I do it, this will be filling up. We'll see how this looks when it's done. Do me a favor, please like and subscribe. Uh, please like this video, it really helps out. Uh, we can see if, for whatever reason, this video could go viral. I've seen weirder videos go viral, so I know a lot of people love Legos. And this just doesn't make sense, but I'm doing it anyways. Alright, see you guys. Alright, so real quick. Here's those uh, milk chocolate bunnies. So you can see they're completely discolored from the sun. And even the dark ones have like white goo on them. So if I sold these, the customer would obviously be upset. I would be upset too. Do this a bunch of times, dump them in there a bunch of times, and eventually have a big chocolate Lego brick. Probably like, it's probably gonna be like 25 to 40 pounds, I bet. 20 to 40 probably. We'll see at the end. I'm not really sure, but we got a lot of chocolate. All right, there we go. Just need a little bit more time. That's like uh, 12 bunnies. <laughs> and they're fully melted. This is pure Hershey's milk chocolate. A lot of money right there. It's a shame that it uh, melted. And so I'm going to go and dump it in here, fill up these Lego brick holes. All right, well, that's pretty much the perfect setup. I it to 230 degrees, took about 25 minutes, and it was fully melted, 100%. And this is just a tiny bit of the chocolate I have, and it's already, you know, one eighth or so of the way full. So I might be able to get a few bricks out of this, Lego bricks. It should be pretty cool, actually. Once again, kind of crazy and no real point in doing this, but that's quite okay. Should be pretty entertaining once it's done. If it, hopefully it'll come out of this uh, mold with no issues, but that might be an, a problem. So who knows, we'll see. All right, next I'm gonna throw in a bunch of the Reese's peanut butter bunnies and we'll see how those melt up. And then we'll see how the peanut butter looks and all that. So stay tuned for that. And right, now we're gonna melt up a bunch of variety we have 
M&M bunnies, Reese's bunnies, there's Snickers bunnies, and there's also Twix eggs. But as you can see, once again, this, it's weird that this one's all discolored, but this one's not, and they were in the same exact case. But, um, yeah, it's all ruined and, you know, unfortunate, but let me show you what I mean with the peanut butter on these peanut butter cups. Usually it's just kind of a creamy peanut butter, but now it's just like this flaky, nasty peanut butter, so... Yeah, once again, definitely cannot sell this. I wouldn't even want to give it away to someone just because it just doesn't taste good. However, I was just thinking while I was putting these in here, you know, after I get this done, this could actually be edible because it's not even expired. It just won't taste very good. So that could be an interesting treat at the end because <laughs> it's going to have Twix, peanut butter cups, Snickers, M&Ms, everything in here. So... Onto the melting oven you go. 30 minutes later, we have melted all that candy. See the peanut butter from the peanut butter cups, M&Ms. Let's see, what else was there? Snickers. There's some more of the, see how the peanut butter got like powdery? That's not what people expect. It's a lot of peanut butter. And then at the bottom, there's a Twix. So there's going to be caramel. And uh, oh, there it is there. Now you can see the caramel bleeding out. So I'm going to dump this in now. <laughs> All right. Looks like a mess now, huh? So there's the big old Twix cookie part. Once again, peanut butter there. Uh, a couple M&Ms. And then there's, supposed, there's going to be some peanuts in here, too, from the uh, Snickers. I believe is like right around there. How exciting. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you guys would actually eat this. Because truly it would be edible for a while. I just don't think it would taste very good. All right, to speed things up, I have the two pans in the oven. And I thought, of course, why not just try to microwave a bunch of it? So <laughs> I put like eight bunnies, all the different ones, in the microwave for like four minutes. I added a tiny bit of water so it produced a tiny bit of steam and kind of helped melt it. So that's the, that's the, uh, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. That is a mess. This is M&M's, Snickers, and Twix. And then I think a couple peanut butter cups as well. So let's uh, go and slap this in this one. Here we go. Mmm, appetizing, huh? Who wants some? That's definitely faster. It's about three, it's three or four minutes. I don't remember exactly how long I did, but that was about eight bunnies or so, but I probably have like 20 or so in the oven. So I'm just gonna do both. The oven takes quite a bit longer. I've been doing 30 minutes and that gets them 100% melted at 230 degrees. So let me spread this deliciousness out. And we should be there in a little while. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and only, obviously only do it up to here. Hey, what's going on? Still working on this Lego brick of chocolate. I just took all the bunnies out of the packages and wow, this, this tub is 67 pounds of chocolate. Crazy, and that's not even the end of it. I already put probably 10, 15 pounds in that brick uh, last night. And then there's more candy that I haven't even got to yet. So by the end of all this, this is probably going to be about 100 pounds of chocolate going into these Lego bricks. So it's going to be pretty crazy. All right, guys, uh, do me a favor. Please like and subscribe. 
And uh, unfortunately, I might be getting more Easter candy on another pallet, possibly. So if I do, it's probably gonna be the same case to where it's just gonna be wasted and um, not really sure what to do with it. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to make a mold out of something different than a big Lego piece. Not really sure. Give me some ideas of how I could melt down chocolate and use it in a different way. That's, I guess, fun. All right, see you guys for now. All right, guys, this is getting kind of crazy. I decided to go ahead and use my big oven now too, just because of how long this is all taking. But so I, I, I broke down a lot more of the bunnies and I, I have a clip of it showing the weight, but I don't know what order I'm gonna put these yet. But after this is all said and done, I'm gonna about a hundred pounds of chocolate that's gonna be in this, these bricks. This is what I did last night, it's about half full. This is probably a good 15 pounds. So each brick, depending on how many I decide to make, is going to be probably 25 to 30 pounds each of pure chocolate candy. Kind of crazy. So, as you can see, <laughs> taking a lot of time. They're all broken in pieces because they're the hollow bunnies. And uh, obviously I can fit more if I break them up. So guys, do me a big favor, please. Smash that like button for me. This is taking a very long time to do, and I hope it's entertaining. I hope this isn't just a waste of time. I'd, I'd be interested to see something like this on YouTube. I know my son thought it was a cool idea too, so. <laughs> that looks gross. Who wants chocolate bunnies? There's one pan. It's like a volcano. <laughs> this one just falls right out. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't look so good on the camera. Looks like someone's not melting chocolate. Let's say that. I know. <laughs> Ooh. That is a lot of freaking chocolate. Spread this around. Look at that. That's cool. Huh. I'm looking on my camera. That looks cool. That is so much chocolate. What will you do when you're done? I don't know. <laughs> Probably. I'm hoping it'll come out as one giant brick, but it may not. It might just crumble out, which would be a disaster. Huh. Look at all this freaking chocolate. Crazy. Oof. Here. Ones are flat, comes out, but you yeah, just... this was the one with all the little pieces of the bunny that we broke up. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it looks delicious. No, I the biggest one. <laughs> I know that's not even the biggest pan yet. That is crazy how much chocolate it is. No joke, this thing's gonna weigh twenty to thirty pounds. More chocolate. Whoa. Oh, there's a peanut butter cup. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this, this might just be enough to let this one harden. And then we got plenty more to do at least, I'd say, one more. <laughs> the mega, mega chocolate. Look at you all that, guys. This, look, it's the chocolate spaceship going past. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's like a rock slide. Mud slide. Oh my gosh. Look at the caramel up top. Look at the caramel oh, coming down. That's from it. Twix. That's so cool. That's so funny. That is nuts. Anybody want Twix? Me? Hmm. Huh. Whoa. Oh man. That's crazy. Yes, it is. How much money do you think all this is worth? Like all the This is gonna have. be a very expensive book. 
these each bunny is like four dollars in the store when they're when it's around Easter. Hmm. Which is nuts. It's probably a couple, like one hundred or something. Not maybe more. Well, let's see, it takes about four of these to make a pound. So if we have thirty pounds here, say. Um, so it'd be hundred and twenty. Wait. Four of them equal one pound. Yeah, four times 30, so 120 times, say, $4 each. This is like a $480 chocolate brick. Are you serious? Yeah, retail. I gotta spread this out. Huh. That is nuts. I keep saying that, but it is. How will you get the caramel to it? <laughs> I don't know. Break it. Yeah, just mm. Pretty cool though, huh? Very. Haha, <laughs> guys, we are pretty much full on this one. We got a tiny bit more in there cooking just to kind of top it off and make it smoother. All right, it's the moment of truth for this chocolate Lego brick. I'm gonna try to get it out of here. I put it in the refrigerator to make it as hard as possible. I think it should come out in one big chunk. The only thing I'm concerned about is the studs. Will those come out with it? I don't know. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna carry it over and weigh this and see how much just this one brick of chocolate weighs. And I, I, I think it's gonna be like 30 pounds, if not more. So let me do that. Set you in some chocolate. All right, look at that. <laughs> 36 pounds of pure chocolate with some M&Ms, peanut butter cups, uh, Snickers, Twix, you name it. So now we're gonna try to flip this over and get it out. I think it's going to, as you can see, when I move this plastic, it separates and it's very hard right now because it's been cold and in the fridge all day. So I think it's going to come out. Let's go to move it to the table and see. All right, everybody, place your bets. I think when I flip this over, it's just going to pop out. Do you think these studs are going to come out with it? I don't know. I may pop it out and have to do a little bit of work where the studs are. If they don't pop out or don't pop out neatly, then I'll cut them out and kind of melt both sides and stick them back together. That way it'll look complete. And once it hardens again, then it'll be a complete Lego piece. So, there's 33 pounds of chocolate. Or did I say 36? 36. A lot. All right. Let's see if I can. I really, I really think this is going to come out. Here we go, the, probably the world's biggest chocolate Lego brick. There we go. I'm gonna set it down, I might even break this plastic, it's so heavy. I'm gonna set it down first, and if it doesn't just fall out, I'm gonna bang it. Here we go. Is it on there? Yeah. It's in there. Oh, no, it's no, I'm gonna make it work. The studs are holding I think there. I think the studs are gonna be a problem. Oh wait, I think it's actually falling a little bit. I think it's coming down very slowly. So I'm gonna So I'm gonna cut just gonna go around and see maybe it's not quite detached at the bottom of the section I don't know see that'll kind of stretch it out more all right here we go I cut all around the corners I could definitely tell that it was hard so hopefully this is gonna I think it's gonna make a massive difference here we go coming down. Come here, bud. Come here. That one side is definitely past 
the little uh, ridge here. Oh, it's out. Here's the chocolate. Here we go. Now, will the studs be attached? Oh, it feels like it is. By banging on it, it feels hollow now. Here we go, guys. So let me know in the comments if you think this is going to come out as a giant brick. Or if I'm going to have to modify it or what. But here we go. 36-pound Lego. Oh, God, it's heavy. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. Is that cool or what? And you can see all the different the different candies. You got caramel, you got peanuts, you have Twix bar. That is cool. I wonder if there's a way to, like, I don't know. What should I do with this, guys? That's... I was almost thinking, honestly, I don't know how I would do it. But put it in a box. You know how you can epoxy stuff with that crystal clear epoxy? And just absolutely encase this in epoxy so it's not gonna stink. Um I don't think you I don't think you'd be able to melt if it's inside, you know, epoxy. But this is really cool. That came out. That is a smooth <laughs> these pieces are completely completely smooth. Oh, that's so and then you got this piece. You can tell this piece had peanuts and other things. I believe that was a Snickers. That is really quite cool. This is cooler than I expected it to be even. And the cool thing about this, if I, if I just keep this sitting in my house like this, it'll never melt as long as it's room temperature. But if I threw this outside, it would just go into a huge goop of chocolate. That is really quite cool. I'm, a, I'm kind of impressed by that, are you? If, yeah. If you throw it away in a trash can outside... I don't think I'm going to throw this away. That was a lot of work. And I have... I, this is 36 pounds. I have over 100 pounds of chocolate. Especially now, because I actually got another pallet of Easter candy. And some of that I'm going to have to throw away or melt down. So I could probably get two or three of these giant bricks of chocolate. I'll just see the inside. Now, what would be amazing... To me is if I got three of these you know I had two side by side stack them up. and then the third one I could cut a hole through the bottom and actually make them fit as Lego pieces because right now the bottom of this is just completely flat I wasn't sure how I could make that work or they actually sell Lego storage containers like this that are about half this size. So I might actually order some of those just to make chocolate molds of the smaller bricks. And if I did the smaller bricks, I could probably make like six of them. So I'm gonna upload this video. And the reason I'm gonna call it 100 pounds worth of chocolate is because I do literally have 100 pounds worth of chocolate. I just have to decide what I wanna do with them. Let me know down in the comments. If you want to see two more of these, or like four to six, basically just figure cut this in half, and it'd be you know four stud pieces. Yeah, this is I'm actually quite impressed with this. Hopefully you guys are. I mean, where where do you see a gigantic chocolate Lego? Dude, would you guys buy one of these in the store if they sold it? <laughs> it probably cost about five hundred dollars. That is really quite cool. That is, I'm so surprised at how almost perfectly it came out. Next time, next one I do, I'll make sure to use just pure chocolate on the studs. Because as you can see, this will kind of fall apart because this has Snickers and stuff. But these ones over here, or this one especially, is just pure chocolate. And it's as smooth as you could freaking get it. Isn't is that really cool? Yeah, yeah good. I'll feel it again. Yeah. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> oh, look at this side. Look at all the oh. <laughs> all the nougat. It looks like caramel. a river. Like a it does. River. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this video. Hopefully, you guys like this. Please, please, please do me a favor and smash that like button. This took a good six to ten hours probably to do because I melted down literally with 36 pounds of Easter bunnies. 
And uh, if you guys like this, I can definitely do it again. And I think I'm gonna order some of the smaller storage containers. They may even have even smaller ones. And it'd be really cool if I could get like five or six of these total and actually have them stack into each other like real Legos. Once again, if you don't mind, please like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you wanna see. And I, I will make something else out of that 100 pounds of chocolate. So let me know what you want to see. Have an awesome day and stay safe out there. See you guys.